suggest why uh, we should test it is because it may have side effects, which would be good for us. Uh, right. Uh, one reduction and one oxidation reaction um, that we can carry out in the lab, um, reagents, conditions, and observations if necessary. So, let's draw this boy out. So, let's, let's do an oxidation first of all. For oxidation, I would use potassium dichromate in acid and I would reflux. What would that give me? So, that would be plus square bracket O. The ketone wouldn't change, however, my aldehyde would become a carboxylic acid and I would observe it going orange to. Green for reduction, I would add sodium borohydride, aqueous, warm, um, and then for this one, this is quite interesting because obviously it can reduce both the ketone and it can reduce the aldehyde. So I'm going to have four square bracket H, which will knock my ketone to the alcohol. Aldehyde, sorry, my ketone to the alcohol, and then also knock my aldehyde to the alcohol as well. Uh, right, for the next one then, um, how does GCMS enable um, the compounds to be identified? Uh, the gas chromatography separates the components, um, and the mass spec identifies the compounds by comparison with a database. That's come up a few times. Um, using the information of the molecular form of F is that. So, if I take 52, sorry, 54.2% of 118, I get that to be 64. Um, 64 divided by 16 equals four, therefore four oxygens. Um, if I then take 118 minus 64 for my four oxygens, I make that to be 54, and 54 relates to four carbons, which is 48, plus six hydrogens, which is obviously six. 48 plus six equals 54. Uh, for the next one then, um, using the spectrum, the functional group present, I've got a lovely broad OH there, and I've got a C double bond over there, so it's going to be a carboxylic acid. Okay, so I've got a spectrum here, it's C4A604, so um, you've got a carboxylic acid hydrogen there, um, this one is going to be CH3, and that has two hydrogens, of, sorry, one hydrogen on neighbouring carbon, in this case with doubler, this one here is going to be that type of hydrogen uh, attached to a carbon double bond oxygen. That's got three H's on neighbouring carbon because he split it to a quartet. So I know I've got, well, it looks to me like two carboxylic acid groups because I've got C4H6. Those carboxylic acid groups have to be as you know on the end, I'm going to have, sorry, uh, I'm going to have a carbon in the middle because I also have to have a CH3 group coming off there and then I know I've got that hydrogen there attached to the carbon, so that's the structure of the molecule. Um, explain why deuterated dimethyl sulfoxide is used in solvent. If you use the um, uh, 1H, the normal solvent, um, then you would also have a massive solvent peak for that. So it's because it doesn't give us doesn't give a signal in the protomanobar. Why is TMS? At? TMS we know is used as the standard for chemical shift measurement. Um, second protonol was obtained by the few drops of D2O. What would be the difference? The peak at 11 ppm would disappear. 
um, you would no longer see that because that's a proton attached to an oxygen. Right, circle two chiral carbons in this one here are uh, going to be that one and that one because they are attached to four different groups. Name the four functional groups apart from the benzene ring. That's an ester there, that is an amide there, that's an amine there, and that is a carboxylic acid. Like so. Draw the structure of complete hydrolysis of the molecule. Um, so if I've got complete hydrolysis, I am going to break up uh, ester bonds and amide bonds. So let's do this. This is by acid as well. So nitrogens are going to become protonated. So that's, that will become a carboxylic acid group. This is obviously going to become NH3 plus CH, CH2, and then your benzene ring. Like so. And then it's going to break there. And then your final molecule is going to be methanol. And then just a quickie. Um, artificial sweeteners, many variables have been drawn, so sorry. Uh, because of side effects um, uh, that they, they cause to people. So they're now longer, no longer on the market because of side effects.